All right, we're going to solve this system of linear equations by addition. Okay, so they're specifically asking us to use addition, and that's what we have to do. When you add two equations, what you want to happen is you want one of the variables to cancel out. Now, this one is really nice. It's already set up to where one of your variables is going to cancel out. If I added these two together, x plus x will give me 2x, and y plus a negative y, well, these two will cancel out. It'll give me 0. Equals 3 plus 7 is 10. And that's exactly what you want to happen with the addition method. They also call this the elimination method because one of your variables will get eliminated when you use addition. So what I'm left with is 2x equals 10, and you'll see that if you solve for the x, you're going to get x equals 5. Now what I found here is half of my answer. When these two linear equations meet, they're going to meet at one point. And that point is going to have an x value and a y value. So I found the x value of it, which is 5. Now I need to take what I learned from the x value, and I need to plug it in to find the y value. Now I can use either of the equations that I started with. Uh, you can use the top one or the bottom one. In this case, the top one's going to be easier, but you'll get the same answer. And I'm only using the top one because it doesn't have a minus. It's all positives. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to plug in for this x right here. So instead of x, I'm going to plug in a 5. So instead of x plus y equals 3, it's 5 plus y equals 3. One step to get that y by itself. Subtract 5 on both sides. And I'll be left with y equals 3 minus 5 is negative 2. So these two equations are going to cross at the point 5, negative 2. This is called the solution to the system of linear equations. And that's the only combo, xy combo, that is going to give you a true statement for the top equation and the bottom equation.